schools and elementary schools, but now the fall semester is ending at college campuses across the country. And this morning we check on Emporia State University. Joining us via Skype is ESU President Allison Garrett. Allison, good morning. Good morning, David. Well, good to see you. Now, I understand that the school is receiving a $1.2 million rehab canceling grant. Uh, what is that grant going to be used for? That grant will be used to train additional rehab counselors for this region. One of the things we know is that here in this region and in Kansas, we have fewer rehabilitation counselors than we need. And adults who have disabilities tend to be underemployed. And so that grant will actually go toward tuition for master's level students pursuing rehab counseling degrees through Emporia State. Oh, that's terrific news. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And it's really hard to believe that Friday's the last day for in-person classes on campus. Now, how do you actually plan to handle instruction and finals after Thanksgiving week? Well, like so many other schools, we're taking a break for Thanksgiving, and then we have one more week of instruction following Thanksgiving, and that week of instruction will be remote, and then final exams will also be remote. But I have to tell you, I've been so proud of our students, our faculty, because we have made a commitment to having face-to-face -face classes throughout the semester and done a really good job, I think, uh, in keeping m most of our classes going face-to-face -face throughout the semester. So I'm really proud of our students and faculty here at ESU. Now, what is the status for fall commencement? We are doing a virtual commencement. Uh, that seems to be the best way to assure that everyone stays safe. And uh, it will be a very large commencement. We've done a fantastic job graduating our students and our record graduation rates uh, for the last couple of years have been really impressive. And so we have a, uh, an online commencement uh, queued up and ready to go to celebrate with our graduates this fall. Do you get a sense that most students and faculty kind of understand that process? I know there's a lot of disappointment, but you think they're on board? I think they are. Um, I think when you look at the numbers and the amount of spread of coronavirus, it just seems so clear that it's really not safe to do any large mass gatherings right now. And I understand that because I have a son who's graduating this month as well, and uh, his uh, ceremony will be... Um, uh, one that family can't attend. So uh, it's disappointing for, for students, I think. Yeah, I bet so. Now, what about the decision for the schedule? Uh, class schedules uh, for spring, if students can return or not in January, when are you going to let that news out? Well, our plan right now is uh, to be back in session face to face. Of course, we'll be watching the coronavirus numbers very closely. Uh, but just as we did for the fall, um, our hope is that we can be mostly face-to-face. -face. Our fall semester, um, uh, we were able to offer about three-quarters of the classes that should have been face-to-face -face, uh, as face-to-face -face classes, and, and we're hopeful that we're able to do that again this spring. Well, you mentioned a moment ago how proud you are of everybody for the way things have been handled through at least this latter part of 2020. What is a goal that you have set for yourself personally in 2021? Oh, that is a great question. Well, I think uh, a great personal goal for me would be not looking like I'm about to rob a bank when I go anywhere. Um, and so my hope is that coronavirus will be beyond us uh, at least by sometime in the summer. Allison, thank you so much for your time. I wish the staff and students at Emporia State University the very best and happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Thanks, you too. Alrighty, conversation continues with more on the upcoming course offerings that ESU will have, also the campus projects because there's a big building under construction right now and you can get that news with Aaron LaRoe at 7.